Hello, this is Todd Luck. And so for the first time in three years, EdgarRiceBurrows.com has added a new comic strip to its online comic strip service. And so these strips are absolutely excellent. They adapt Edgar Rice Burroughs novels. And so the new one is The Resurrection of Jimber Jaw. And you're seeing the first strip right here in the series. And so it just premiered this week. And so you may be asking, what is The Resurrection of Jimber Jaw? So it is a 1937 story written by Edgar Rice Burroughs about a caveman who was frozen in ice and he's found in what were then modern times and he is resurrected through various science fiction he means and so he goes on to adapt to uh, modern life as best he can he goes to hollywood he becomes a boxer a wrestler he falls in love all that good stuff and so that is what they're adapting obviously this has become a very widely overused cliche in pop culture you have movies like Iceman. Uh, you have characters like Gnark the Caveman in Teen Titans. You have characters like Coda, who also has a very similar origin in Power Rangers Dino Charge. It's just been very, very overused over the years, almost to the point where it's basically just kind of a running gag in pop culture. Um, it's almost just become kind of a joke for a caveman character to be unthawed from the ice. And we're not even going to talk about characters from past errors who have been thawed out in modern times who aren't cavemen, like, of course, Captain America. It's just become such a all-present uh, cliche in our pop culture. And so you're looking at the magazine that first published The Resurrection of Jimberjaw back in 1937. And the thing is, I can't find anything about, you know, what Burroughs' inspirations for this story might have been, or if there were similar stories that may have been published before then. And so I'm kind of wondering if Burroughs actually may have done this concept first, or may have popularized it. Could Burroughs be the person who gave us the frozen caveman cliche? But regardless, even though we have seen this type of character done a million times, it's still really exciting to read the Edgar Rice Burroughs version of it. First of all, it is a romantic adventure written by someone with some exceptional storytelling instincts. And it's done in a time period where this wasn't a cliche. This was a fresh, exciting idea that the writer really thought out and put their heart into. And so that's one of the reasons why Burroughs' stuff is so fascinating to a modern reader, because he's taking all these things that have become cliched and hanknayed over the decades and putting them in a way that we've never read before, regardless of the age of the story, back when these concepts were fresh. And I'm so glad I'm going to be able to experience this story I never even heard of through this comic strip. It is so fantastic to be able to discover stuff like this through the online comic strips. They're only $22 a year, and for that much money, you get adaptions of just about every novel series that Edgar Rice Burroughs has ever put out, and then there's going to be so much stuff on there, unless you already have an encyclopedic knowledge of Burroughs' work that you will discover. It is fantastic. And so definitely looking forward to that. And I hope there's more comic strips coming. I know that they're going to come back and finish up Outlaw of Torn. And so hopefully there's going to be other uh, new strips added as well, you know, from other nooks and crannies of Burroughs' career. Uh, just look forward to seeing what they have in the future. All right, that's it. Please like and subscribe. It's so simple, even a caveman can do it. See ya.